The first Halloween app we're going to take a look at is called Corpse Cam, and this allows you to take a photo or grab a photo from your library and turn it into a corpse face. So once you've selected a photo, you can see you have three blue sections here, and you can move these around so they align properly with your face. So you want to align it with your eyes and your mouth. If it's too large, just shrink it down like so, and you can also turn it slightly with two fingers to make it perfect. Once you're happy with the alignment, hit done, and it'll go ahead and turn that face into a corpse face. And it looks pretty cool and it's pretty fun. You can save them, you can edit them, you can restart. It's a pretty fun app. It's got a pro version, but this is the free version right here. The next free Halloween app is called Spooky Box, and this allows you to grab all kinds of Halloween sounds that you can press and use. Some of them are themes, some are just sound effects, and if you tap on them, they make a sound. Now you can switch them up, you can stop the sounds, you can loop the sound so that it just continues to play over and over, and you can see there's a whole bunch of these. For example, this one, Get Out. If we move over to the end here, you've got some clown screams, a knife sharpening. There's all kinds, and it's pretty fun, especially on Halloween. And if you play with these properly, you can turn on some themes and actually add in some of these sound effects on your own, loop them, and create a really awesome sound theme for Halloween. The next free Halloween app is called Parents Carve a Pumpkin. Not sure why it's called that or why it says parents or anything like that, but basically you can carve a pumpkin on your phone and you have a few different pumpkins you can choose from. This black one here looks pretty cool. You can pick your pumpkin, you can choose to cut it, and if you do choose to cut it, you can cut it by hand where you just draw in and it'll put in the space there. You can tap undo to undo them. You also have sections where you can choose from different sections of eyes. You can go back and also choose from a whole different sections of full faces so you don't have to do anything. You just basically choose the face, align it so it sits nice. You can resize it, click done, and then you've got your little Halloween pumpkin. Now I also created a few other designs. You can see this one here is actually made with stickers. You can add those in as well rather than carving the pumpkin. I use different pumpkins. I really like the black one though. And some of these designs were full faces and then some of them I chose different eyes, different noses, and I carved a little bit as well. So check it out, especially if you don't have a pumpkin. The next free Halloween app is actually a game called Swipe Me Out. And what you're basically trying to do here is help this little Frankenstein escape this dungeon. And you'll see that you can go left, right, up, and down in certain scenarios. And you want to get him through that door to help him escape. Now, throughout this process, different things are going to be happening. You can see lava's coming at you there. It's coming at you from different angles. You'll also have spikes and various other things and less doors in certain levels as well. So you want to be quick. And this actually will help you because the game Lumosity has a couple of games that's like this, and Lumosity is a brain training game. The next free Halloween app is also a game, and it's a pretty fun one. It's called Haunted Halloween Escape, and this actually mimics those escape the rooms where you gotta try to find clues throughout the room and get yourself out of there. So you can see there's a couple of doors, that door right there and this door right here. So we need to try to figure out a way to get through these doors. There's actually something going on back there. Is there a monster behind you, it says. So you wanna try clicking on different things throughout the level to uh, sort of help you find clues. So right here, we've got a desk. I like to go through it with the desks first because usually in the drawers, of course, there's a bat and there was a knife. So we can use this knife at some point and hopefully it'll help us with something. Now, there are a lot of these pumpkins up here that maybe we can use the knife. Yes, we can. So we can carve the pumpkins with our knife. So we've done the carvings. There's also this right here and it looks like there's a cross, but we can't reach that. So we'll need to find something to reach that. So you want to be creative. We got a sword now. Maybe we can reach it with the sword. It just happened to be that way. Yeah, we got the cross. So it's not that difficult, especially at the beginning. You just need to use your creativity and imagination, tapping on things. But as you find more and more clues, you're going to find it's going to get a little bit more difficult because there's less to do here. So this one here has some coding that we need to figure out. And whether it's just all one code, let's just try stars. And we'll see if that does anything. Oop, passed it. 
it doesn't seem to be all the stars anyway. So you want to try to figure it out. And like I said, this actually will be a fun game that'll challenge you a little bit because you're going to have to use your mind and sort of problem solve through this but these are a lot of fun especially on Halloween so hopefully you guys enjoyed these Halloween apps let me know what you think of them in the comment box down below also leave your favorite Halloween app so other people can try them as well don't forget to subscribe to the channel follow me on Facebook and Twitter and I hope you guys have a very happy Halloween